وائلا مدین آخاہ مشعیبا اینڈ تو دی مدینز وی سینٹ دیر اون بردر شعیب قال یا قوم عبد اللہ آئی ٹول یو مدین واز آلسو ای سن آف حضرت ابراہیم فرام ہیس تھرڈ وائی قطورہ جس دیا کل بنو قطورہ ہوں دی پروجنی آف قطورہ اسحاق فرام سارہ اسماعیل فرام حاجرہ مدین اور مینی ادرز فرام قطورہ پر دی موسٹ امپورٹن نیم امنگ دیم واس مدین وَإِلَا مَدِيَنَا خَاهُمْ شُعَيْبَا Now the progeny of Madian Now they are the tribe of Madian and where they lived that was on the right side on the right bank or the eastern bank of the Gulf of Aqaba So actually when the caravans went from Hijaz from Makkah etc. to Syria they passed first by the ruins of Samud then came the ruins of this Madian then came the ruins of Sodom and Gomorrah and then we used to go to Palestine so all these townships you know they were on that highway highway of the caravans you know وَإِلَا مَدِيَنَا خَاهُمْ شَعِبَا قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ عِبُدُ اللَّهَ مَا لَكُمْ مِنِ اللَّهِ مِنِ غَيْرُ I think that don't need to translate these words now لَا تَنْقُسُ الْمِكْيَالَ وَالْمِيزَانِ don't diminish neither the mayor nor the weight إِنِّي أَرَاكُمْ بِخَيْرٍ I am saying you that you are in prosperity Now please note, actually this region was at the crossroads of two main caravan routes. One caravan routes coming from the south, going to the north, from Hejaz to Syria or back from Syria to Hejaz. Other was a main caravan route from Iraq to Egypt and that passed, you know, through the Gaza Strip. And they, actually this nation was occupying, you know, at the crossroads. So they benefited the most. Caravans coming, caravans going, as you know, cities who are situated on such highways and you know, caravan routes, they benefit and they prosper. Inni arakum bi khairin, I am seeing that you are in prosperity. Inni akhafu alaykum azaba yawmi muhi, but I fear that, you know, if you don't mend your ways, the, the chastisement of an encircling day will come over you. Wa yaqawmi awful bi kiala bi mizan, you should fulfill the mayor also and the weights also. بالقسط with justice وَلَا تَبْخَسُ النَّاسَ أَشْيَاهُمْ and don't diminish people their their goods وَلَا تَعْصَوْا فِي الْأَرْضِ مُفْسِدِينَ and don't create go about creating in the earth the mischief بَقِيَّةُ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ what is left over as the right profit you know by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is better for you إِن كُنْتُ مُؤْمِنِينَ if you are believers وَمَا أَنَا عَلَيْكُمْ بِحَفِيظِ And I am not a guardian over you. Only I am admonishing you. I am giving you the best and sincere advice. قَالُوا يَا شُعَيْبُ وَسَلَاتُكَ تَعْمُرُكَ أَن نَتْرُكَ مَا يَعْبُدُ آبَاؤُنَا أَوَ النَّفْعَلَ فِي أَمْوَالِنَا مَا نَشَا Now these two things are very important. They said, O Shuaib, does your prayer, we see you praying in some peculiar way, but okay, you can go on praying. This is your personal affair. But you know, does your prayer, Tamuroka, commands you, ordains upon you, and Natroka ma yabudu abhauna, that we should abandon those gods whom our forefathers were worshipping? Or you want to forbid us and your prayer forbid us and your prayer forbid us from doing us whatever we want to do in our own belongings. Now this is actually the basic principle of capitalism. The sacred right of ownership. This belongs to me. I can do with it anything I like. This is the sacred, most sacred, you know, right of ownership. I am the owner. I can do whatever I like. I can invest as I like. Well, if I can open a brothel, I don't say that everybody should come. I can't compel anybody. But if anybody wants to come, okay, let him come. He is free to come or not to come. But I, am, I, I should be free to, uh, to, to invest my money in any way I like. But I am, you know, giving people loans on interest. This is my money. I can't give them without any reward for any exchange for that. But they are not compelled to take from me. But if they want to take any loan from me, well, they, they are free to take the loan or not to take the loan. And I am free to charge the interest. 
so this is basically the sacred right of ownership which is the basis of capitalism and these words you know denote aw an nafala fi amwalina ma nasha they thought we are free these are our belongings our properties we can do anything with with, with them which we like inna kal anta al halim ar rashid surely you are the only halim and rashid and you are the only for bearing and rightly guided person it was sarcastic remark qala ya qaum ya raitum in kuntu ala bayyanati mir rabbi the same thing again he said oh my nation oh my people just consider if i was already from my youth you have been seeing me if i was already on a self evident light from my rod that is the human nature pure human nature i had that light from the very beginning wa razaqni wa razaqni minhu rizqan hasana and over and above that my lord has given me very good risk you know this this wahi is also risk allah subhanahu wa taala is provided this has provided this risk this is spiritual risk as i said you know that what is this psalm and what is quran in this psalm we are some to some extent withholding the nourishment from our animal being and then during the night we want to provide nourishment to our spirits the souls and that is quran because our arwah what are they ya saluna kali ruh kuli ruh min amri rabbi now our bodies our physical existence it has come from the clay and the nourishment for it are also coming from the clay and our ruh our spirits they have come from lord and the nourishment for the, them also has come from the lord the same source so summa wa razaqani min huris qan hasanan wa ma uridu an ukhalifakum ila ma alhakum and i desire not to stop you from something and then do that myself which i forbid you in uridu illa al-islah i don't intend anything except reform mastata'tu as much as i can wa ma tawfiqi illa billah and i draw all my strength and ability from allah from none from none except allah wa ma tawfiqi illa billah alayhi tawakkaltu and i have placed my trust on him wa ilayhi unib and to him i turn wa ya qaum la yajmanukum shiqaqi and look my people it shouldn't be that my enmity incites you ay yusibakum misla ma mislu ma asaba qaum nuh aw qaum hud aw qaum salih because you are you know in my enmity personal grudge against me you are not accepting you know my dawa my advice but what will be the result that you know the same punishment would come to you that came to the people of nuh and the people of hud or the people of salih wa ma qaum lut minkum ba'id and the people of lut you know they were not very far off from you as i told you they are very closely situated qaum lut then qaum shu'ayb and then geographically speaking from south to the north qaum lut then qaum qaum samud and then you know qaum shu'ayb and then qaum lut and then the way you to all the way towards you know palestine wa ma qaum lut minkum ba'id بس تغفروا ربكم ان ينو ذس بعيد ان بوث ويز زمان از ويل از مكان بيكوز دي ور نير باي سيتويتد اند اكچولي دي ور فيري كلوز ان تايمينجز بيكوز قوم لوط حضرت لوط عليه السلام واز دي نيفيو اوف حضرت ابراهيم عليه الصلاه والسلام سو اكچولي دي تايم بيريد واز اولسو نوت فيري فيري لونج ان بيتوين ذيم بس تغفروا ربكم ثم توبوا الى ان يو شود اس دي فورجيفنس فروم يور لورد and you turn to him in repentance in rabbi rahimun wadud verily my lord is rahim merciful and wadud very loving 